Good morning, everyone. Before we begin, if you notice there's some flowers out front that need to be planted into somebody's flower bed. So please take them with you. My daughter planted 2,000 zinnias, and I had to save a few of them. So please t uh, feel free to take them. They're out in the front of church. And um, we welcome the class uh, of 1982 today. Very good to see everyone as we celebrate this feast of the Most Holy Trinity here at St. Gerard, home of the Redemptorist High School. So welcome. All of our hymns today and the readings and the responsorial psalm may be found in the Breaking Bread hymnals. These. I sing a little better than I have coordination, so thank you, thank you for your patience. <laughs> Our opening hymn today, and let us greet Father Tat as he's back from vacation. Our opening hymn is in the Breaking Bread hymnal at number 202, number 202. Let us stand together as we sing, Holy, Holy, Holy. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I hate to say good morning, because good morning is not good enough. Why? Today, to celebrate the Trinity, that you and I just bless ourselves in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and we even receive the blessing in Trinity. And so it's powerful. I don't know how many of you went to Grand Canyon or Yellowstone. I just came back from Yellowstone. Some of us heard about Yellowstone or Grand Canyon. Some of us inside the Yellowstone and Grand Canyon into two different stories. Today, we in the Grand Stone, the Yellowstone, we in the mystery of the Trinity. We're not heard or just observed, but we inside that mystery. The mystery gives us the power, the perfect, 
the glory and the goodness of God. And so we thank God that we could come here together, especially welcome to the class of 82, that you call this as your home. So give it up to the class of 82 for being together and to worship God together. And so with this, let us ask the Lord to bless us, our families, all our dreams, especially all the creation that God has created in our lives. And with grace and gratitude, let us praise God. Mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. God, our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated to listen to the word of truth. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord possessed me, the beginning of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth, at first before the earth. When there was no death, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world 
When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limits, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand and we boast in hope of the glory of God, not only that, but even boast of our afflictions, knowing that afflictions produces endurance, and endurance proving character, and proving character hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. to the 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Today we celebrate maybe one of the maybe the biggest mystery and maybe the biggest celebration in a whole Christian Catholic tradition we call the Trinity. And a lot of times we have no idea what the Trinity is, but just to say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes? But my brothers and sisters, today the Trinity gives us the philosophy of our life, the direction of our life, and even the whole picture of God. And so it's hard to understand it, of course, but if we, in prayer, in meditation, in patience, in gratitude, we might get a little bit of it. I want to tell you the story, what I experienced the Trinity. Last week, I had a whole week a vacation, and I went to Yellowstone. How many of us here have been in Yellowstone before? Yes, just a few of us here. And I recommend you to go to Yellowstone. How many of you here even went to Grand Canyon? Grand Canyon, a little bit more, right? So when you go there, what do you see? You see peace, the awesomeness of God, the wonder of God. You say, how in the world this has happened right here in front of me? Same thing in Yellowstone. I've never been there before, so this is my first time. There are three entrances, the east, the west, and the south entrances. And when you go into the Yellowstone, it's like you go into the mystery of God right in front of you. Bisons walk slowly on the street. Everybody had to stop and wait for them to walk across the street. Trees is beautiful, just run up, upward, even though the slope of the mountain, and you can see the old faithful geyser. They name it Old Faithful because every an hour or two hours, you see the eruption spray up, straight up to 130 feet to 180 feet high. And it's so faithful to the point that you can depend on it. But poor Tad, poor Tad because he was not patient enough to wait for the faithful to be erupted. Everybody was sitting around the old faithful geyser waiting for eruption. And here I am, I couldn't wait longer. I said, this is it. My reading for God are too sweet. And so I turned around, walked away. About five, ten minutes later, the old faithful, very faithfully erupted. And of course, all the video, the cameras, picture taking that moment, and you say, where and how in the world this happened right in front of me? It's strange. It's rare. It's awesome. 
my brothers and sisters, every time we come to church like this, we experience that mystery, that wonderful things that God has done for us. When we come here, we bless ourselves in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We call out to God in God's name to protect us, to guide us, and to bless us. And we can't do much but to say, choir, please sing something. Please praise the Lord with song because we can't take picture enough. The camera cannot take the beauty, the goodness, and the truth of God. When the priest raising up that body of Christ and the blood of Christ, say through him, with him, and in him, in the glory, in the union of God, all this happening in front of us. And so we can't say much but to say, Amen. I believe it. Hallelujah. And so hopefully everyone, especially our class of 82 today, you coming back here like you coming back to Yellowstone and the Grand Canyon because right here you experience so much fun, so much beautiful, so much good stuff. And I like to invite you not just to come back here. Whenever you go home, you see the Trinity right at your home. If I have a parents like father and mother and a son and a daughter, I could prove you the Trinity right in front of us. When I see a child, I can see a father in the child. I can see a mother in the child. It's amazing, my brothers and sisters. I want to invite you to go home today or just use your smartphone, tell it selfie, look at yourself in the screen and you might see your father in you. You might see your mom in you, like me when I go home or when I walk around, they say that you look like your mom. And I told people on my father's memorial mass, I look like my mom, but my heart is look like my dad. You know, you act like your dad, you talk like your dad, but you look like your mom. It's kind of weird, but the Trinity is inside each one of us. It's the same thing today when Jesus said, you see me, you see my father. My father and I are one. And so today, when we celebrate the Trinity, we celebrate three things today. And I'd like to invite you to remember this so that we can apply in our life. First, truth. The Trinity in God, the Trinity, we have truth. That's why Jesus said that the spirit of truth will guide you to all truth. The truth. God the Father, the Creator, my brothers and sisters, whatever you see in front of us, not just the geyser, old faithful geyser, not just the Grand Canyon. When you see the sun rising, you see God. When you see the little flower in your garden growing up, you see God. When you see one of each other, like the baby just born, you see God's creation. You don't have to go too far to experience God's creation. When you turn on the light, you know God is here. And so today, let us open ourselves, our minds, our hearts, our whole senses to experience the goodness of God, the wonder of God in our life. When we forgive one another, when we feel forgiveness and salvation in our life, we know that God the Son is in us. You go, your sins are forgiven. And so let us practice that. Forgive one another, love one another, give each other the affirmation, confirmation, because that is God, the Son, the Redeemer. And the third one is the Holy Spirit. When we see life, when you see beauty, joy, 
when you see love, that is the Holy Spirit. When we breathe, it's the Holy Spirit. Let us be a knowledge. Let us be aware, be mindful of God, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Purificator, Sanctificator in our being. That's the first one, truth. The second one is the order. When we celebrate the Trinity, we celebrate the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. When you see a tree, when you see a tree, you see not just the trunk of the tree, you know that there is the root of the tree. And if there is no root, there is no tree. And because of the root and the trunk of the tree, you see the fruit of the tree. And so the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit there. Today, I have a privilege to know a couple of people, especially your teacher, like Coach Miss Trista right here. And of course, you remember not just your classmates, but you remember those who taught you to be who you are today. That is the beauty of the order. We not just remember God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We remember our great parents, grandparents, parents, and one another. And the third thing, when we celebrate the Trinity, we celebrate the harmony. We can't just celebrate one person, but three persons in the Trinity. And so let us work together, help one another, connect with one another. So today, class 82, I commend you, keep doing this, not every 10 years, every year. Not just in every year, maybe every week. Come back here to experience the Yellowstone, the Old Faithful, the Grand Canyon, the mystery of the Trinity in the Eucharist, in the confession, in our life. When we love one another, we love God. And so may God bless us so that we are faithful to God as well. Please stand and let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God. Of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. To him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in a Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to God who provides for the needs of all creation and who delights, especially in the human race. For the church to whom Jesus promised the Spirit, May we be eager for wisdom as the mystery of faith continues to unfold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all peoples of the earth, 
in whom their creator rejoices and delights. May we learn to live at peace with one another as the beloved children of one God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Ukraine, those who have died, and the millions who have fled and seek refuge in other countries, especially for the children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need of healing of body, mind, or spirit, may Christians imbued with joy and hope share the supper abundant love of the Trinity. We pray to the love. Lord. For all God's people who have chosen the vocation of marriage, religions, or ordained life, may their love reflect the divine love of the Holy Trinity. We pray to the Lord. For our parish community of St. Gerard, may we be guided in the spirit of truth as we grow from our afflictions to be bearers of hope. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially parishioners of St. Gerard and for the intentions of this Mass, Reginald Parker, Fred Kennedy, the Adams, Barbier, and Delapaz families, that they may rest secure in God's delight. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In silence, we pray to the Father, through the Son, by the grace of the Spirit, for our needs and the intentions of others. Triune God, you are present to your people in your mighty need and dwell within us by your grace. Hear our prayers that we might one day enjoy everlasting life in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in singing number 711 in the Breaking Bread hymnal. All hail adored Trinity, number 711.
since we have received this wine to offer the food of the vine of our human hands, it will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. For the, For the praise and glory of his name, Father, the Lord of all of his church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, on almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confession of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For one night he has betrayed. He himself took bread and gave him you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the misery of faith. Lord, we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, St. Alphonsus, St. Jared, blessed Silas, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of the, our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, redemptors, missionary, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passion from their life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. also the harmony of God. And so with praise and thanksgiving, let us pray to God the prayer Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other the sigh of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord, our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Ooh, I'm overwhelmed with this crowd. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have a bulletin, please uh, take one bulletin home. I know maybe you say, I forgot, I forgot. Your picture of class 82 is in there. We need to take another picture here, maybe before you leave. So you have a beautiful picture in the sanctuary behind you to remind you that this is where you came from. This is what you received so much. Um, if you like to go to the school, uh, the gym and visit and all that, let me know. Uh, I already unlocked the gym, so you can go in there and check it out yourself. Um, the Eucharistic uh, Jubilee is beginning already, so uh, I'd like to invite you to come back here if you could. You know, I have confession every day before weekday masses, which is 8.30 to 9. Um, take advantage of all this. This will help us to live fully our, our vocation and our life. Uh, so uh, I'd like to invite you to come back and celebrate with us the beauty of God here in St. Jerry. So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and joy and glorify the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.